So this is Annapurna 1, 8,000 meters tall, first 8,000 meter peak climbed back by Maurice Hartzog back in the 1950s. Um, a really difficult mountain peak and coming off of it are numerous glaciers and that's one of the reasons that it's so difficult to climb because of all these um, glaciers, broken glaciers that you block the access to the route. But if you follow that glacier down, it's gone. Instead you've got a gigantic hole where you used to have a glacier and especially if you look right down there there's a little piece of the glacier and actually each of these humps down in the uh, valley are uh, covering pieces of ice and the rock is blocking the sun from the ice so that there's little tiny remnants but the wall the scour mark up there whether you have bare soil and it suddenly turns to grass that's the old height of the glacier and when you talk to local people they tell you usually 10 years ago 20 years ago that glacier totally disappeared um, in this case this glacier faces due west so it runs in an east-west line so that it melted quickly but not super quickly this is a fairly freshly melted glacier if it had been facing south facing the sun it would have melted more quickly and the simplest way to let you understand how global climate change is working is I'm standing above a glacier at 4,000 meters probably 14,000 feet in elevation in January in a t-shirt and shorts if that doesn't tell you what global climate change is doing to the glaciers, nothing will.